What's up everybody? This is T-Man Review with another episode of T-Man Review and today, we take 5 best lever action rifles. What is a lever action rifle? Remember in those old west movies the rifle that the cowboys would fire across the field during that epic final battle? Those are lever action rifles. This type of rifle uses a long lever in the center of the gun to load new shells and spit out the used ones. They have a wide variety of caliber choices that open up their versatility of use, including the larger .45 to 70 cartridge, which can be used for big game hunting. The quickness of firing also ups the chances of actually hitting your target. They are super popular with forest and game personnel, as well as hunters. In the end, the list below is what I came up with and used to pick the 5 lever action rifles I review below. 1. Winchester 1873 The world changed again with this rifle, the gun that won the West. The Henry Rifle Company had an investor, a shirt maker named Oliver F. Winchester who eventually controlled the company and renamed it to Winchester Repeating Arms Company. Their first new product was an improved version of the Henry, the Winchester 1866. The trouble was, that gun still used a rimfire cartridge and those newfangled centerfires were getting traction in the market. The 1873 was designed for centerfire cartridges, initially the .44-40 to or .44 WCF as it was called then. With the ability to reload the ammo, this gun contributed to western expansion. It was easy to cast bullets over the campfire and with a supply of primers and powder, to load the ammo. This allowed people to move and explore and still have fuel for their guns. The .44-40 to and later introduced .38-40 to cartridges were also popular in the Colt revolver so that a person could carry one supply of ammo for both the rifle and handgun. Number 2. Marlin 336 watts. Opting to focus more on the performance than the look Marlin has delivered the 336 watts. This rifle is a riff on the classic Marlin rifle of yesteryear and though made in a simple design, it still looks stunning. The beauty of these pieces lies in the delicate combination of features and balance. It is a little heavy, but when you look at the swing, the balance, and the range, all that becomes a moot point. This makes it the perfect choice for someone new to the lever action rifle world. The price point is super affordable when put up against other rifles of the same caliber. So, in my opinion, if you are looking for a reliable, durable, and traditional looking rifle, there are few better than the Marlin 336 watts, especially if you don't have a lot of money to throw around. 3. Winchester 1894. This rifle introduced America to the smokeless powder era as well as jacketed bullets and high-velocity rifle cartridges. The Winchester 1894 was introduced along with two new cartridges, the .25-35 Winchester and the .30 WCF, later called the .30-30 Winchester. Perhaps you have heard of it? The 1894 was also offered in some carryover black powder era cartridges like the .38-55, .32-40 and a crossover cartridge, the .32 Special. Over the years there have been a huge number of cartridges offered in the 94 from 38 Special to the .450 Marlin. Only the .30-30 went on to see great success. This rifle and cartridge proved to be the perfect marriage and Winchester 1894 became one of the best-selling rifles of all time. When the New Haven plant closed in 2006, that was pretty much the end of the Model 94 as America's lever action. Winchester still has a few made in Japan, which seems a bit sinful. It is interesting to note that they still offer the .450 Marlin, long after Marlin gave up on the cartridge. 4. Savage Model 99 The Savage 99 is an internal hammer action with a massive bolt that, Although rear locking gave it the strength to handle somewhat higher pressures than was possible with contemporary tubular magazine lever guns. Perhaps more importantly, Savage abandoned the tubular magazine of the day for the rotary magazine, and later a detachable magazine, under the bolt. From the start, this enabled the Savage design to handle more aerodynamic spits or bullets. The 99 had an internal hammer for faster lock time and a rotary box magazine. That meant the rifle could use pointed bullets. It was also strong enough to handle modern high-pressure cartridges. While the Winchester 94 and .30-30 was the gun for the masses, the thinking man used a Savage 99, usually in .300 Savage or .250 Savage. The Savage Model 99 was one of the most revolutionary rifles in its time and should be viewed as a significant piece of firearm history. It's still remarkably quick pointing and could still be relevant for today's hunters. 5. Browning BLR Lightweight Rifle. Browning is a name most gun owners are very familiar with. After all, it has been building quality firearms for over a century. 
Over that time, they have really honed in on what makes a great gun. This lightweight rifle is designed for percussion and durability. The accuracy of the fine craftsmanship is stellar, and the smooth action only serves to help that accuracy reach new levels. That coupled with the inclusion of open sights, and you end up with a great option for any hunter. It packs a wallop too, so it works great even on big game. Power is good, especially when hunting something like an elk, but that power can also be one of its drawbacks. The recoil may be too much for those that are a little smaller or slighter of the frame. There you have it guys. It depends on what you are going for. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Click or tab on the subscribe button and the bell button next to it, so you do not miss another episode. See you again soon.